These are six working PVM monitors aged between 15 and 20 years with an unknown number of hours on their tubes. Their cases are dirty, show tape residues and are worn. To prepare the aged PVMs for exhibition, we have to dismantle them. The cases are cleaned with water and soap. After washing, they have to be dried thoroughly. Persistent tape residues can be removed with solvents. The tube itself and the circuit boards need cleaning too, because dust is hygroscopic and moisture can short the circuits. The CRT is powered and the test image generator is connected. HCRTs in particular need adjustments to their focus, image position, white balance, color and brightness. The controls for these preset adjustments are tiny screws in the circuit boards that are located on the sides and the back of the CRT. The SIMTI color bars help us to adjust the hue, the color and the brightness. A gelatin blue filter is used for hue and color correction. For the hue, the two inner bars have to match top and bottom in intensity. As we look through the filter, we see the inner bars shifting. For color correction, the two outer bars have to be matched top and bottom, as we can see here. Now the bars match, color and hue are properly set. The brightness control is on the back panel. To adjust the brightness, the three grey bars in the so-called pluge field have to be turned down until the brightest one stays barely visible. To adjust the white balance, a color analyzer is used. For a neutral white, the color temperature is defined for 312 on the X and 297 on the Y axis. The focus is best adjusted with a crosshatch pattern. The goal is to make the dots smallest and roundest. The alignment and positioning of the image is also done with the help of the crosshatch pattern. This is the convergence control for the red, green and blue rasters to align. If the control can't take care of it sufficiently, additional magnets can be placed at the back of the tube. For an even magnetic field at the screen, there is a degauss button on the back. After all calibrations are set, the monitors are reassembled. Now the six monitors are ready to go.